Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com, the Teach Yourself Excel series, lesson number 25. This is on how to create a pivot table. Now, pivot tables are an extremely powerful way of summarizing data. If you want to follow along with this lesson, go to ExcelExperts.com, Teach Yourself Excel, choose lesson 25, and download the starting sheet and follow the step-by-step -step instructions. We're going to create three different summaries of our data and I'll show you how easy it is to do that. We'll create a month summary. Here's our data. We'll create a monthly expenditure summary, a summary by expense type, so a, a pie chart, and a breakdown of necessary versus unnecessary expenditure. Here are the steps you need to do. On the data worksheet, press Control and G. Type A to H. That selects all of the data that we have entered and calculated. On the ribbon, insert pivot table, click OK. This is a pivot table. That's a row field, data, column and page fields. On the right, you'll see year in the pivot table list. Click on it. Or drag it down to row labels. That's exactly the same thing. Then you'll see that we can change the settings on that to not show subtotals, because we won't want that later. Click OK month so if I click on year then month the month appears after the year in this which is called the row field then I want to add amount so I'm going to add amount to this thing so I just drag it it defaults to counting the amount so in this case what it's telling me is that I've had one expense in the first month of 06 two in the in the fifth but I actually want to sum these so I'll change that and change that to sum okay now that is the first pivot table so I've now created a complete summary of all my expenditure by year by month and summed now we're going to create a summary by expense type I'll rename this monthly summary. So right click here, choose move or copy, click create a copy and OK. So I've just copied this the previous pivot table and now I'm going to play around with this. Instead of having year and month I just want expense type so I'll click off those and click on expense type and it was that easy. I now have a summary by expense type. I'll rename this, double click there, expense type. And then I can move it by clicking and dragging it to after the monthly summary. Let's create another one. Move or copy, create a copy, let's put it in the right place straight away and we'll change this to necessary instead of having expense type I want necessary so that tells me that the total expenditure of 435 is split up by necessary expenditure 400 and unnecessary expenditure 35 it's a useful piece of information if I were to go back to the data sheet, enter some more data, so here's today, computer, that's nicely populated, hard disk, 200, and go back to the monthly summary, right click, refresh, notice immediately 
2009-6 for June appears in that. So that's very useful. Enter new data down there, down the bottom of our data, and then we can immediately see that appearing in our pivot tables. You've been listening to ExcelExperts.com on pivot tables. <laughs>